Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Version CS5 introduced a new feature called Mini Bridge, a new panel in Photoshop that operates as a portal between Photoshop and Bridge, which allows you to view and access images in Bridge without having to switch over to the full Bridge application itself. While it only contains a few of the features of Bridge, Mini Bridge is handy when you want to quickly locate a file and open it. There are a few ways to open Mini Bridge. First, you can select File and then Browse in Mini Bridge from the menu bar. Just give that a click if you wanted to. You could also select Window, Extensions, and Mini Bridge from the menu bar. Or, for a faster way, you can just click the Mini Bridge icon in the upper left corner of the screen in the application bar, located right here. All three methods will open Mini Bridge as we see it open here. Once you open Mini Bridge, it will launch in its own panel and display its home page with a short welcome message. Along the top here, we have several different buttons. There are arrow buttons that allow you to navigate files and folders once you select to browse them. You have the Mini Bridge Home button that allows you to return to this home page at any time. You have the Go to Bridge button that allows you to open the full Bridge application if you want. You also have the Panel View button that allows you to change the panel views of Mini Bridge. And you also have a Search button. And we'll look at these different features. Now, to begin browsing files, click the Browse Files button here in the middle of that Bridge panel. The panel will then change at this point to reveal two distinct areas, which are called pods. At the top is what's called the navigation pod right here. And below that is the content pod located down here. The navigation pod is split into two columns. On the left, there are four navigation headings. We have favorites, recent folders, recent files, and collections. Clicking on any one of those choices will change what's displayed on the right hand side. Now to open folders in the content pod you simply double click them to display their content. So for example in my documents you could go down and select a folder of your choice and display the contents that way go back up here and click my pictures and whatever is contained in there will display down in the content pod. When you locate images they'll be displayed as these small thumbnails in the content pod. Then you just double click an image to open it in Photoshop. It's really that easy. Now if you want to change the way the pods are displayed in MiniBridge, you use that panel view drop down at the top of the panel to select or deselect your choices. So we'll go back up here, give that a click, and so if you want to remove the navigation pod you can do that, add it back in. If you want to remove the path bar, which again is showing you sort of that trail of breadcrumbs where you're located your folder hierarchy. Now just as with our other panels you can collapse the mini bridge panel by clicking the double right pointing arrows in the upper right corner of the panel located right here. Once it's collapsed you can expand it again by clicking the now visible mini bridge icon right here. Give it a click and it will display again and that's how you use mini bridge. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.